c'est le nerf. Donc ici, on enlève en tournant. What kind of bullshit is that? You know, that's exactly what I criticize on self-defense training. You know, it's well-meaning. It's well-meaning. Don't get me wrong. But it's obvious that that gentleman has zero clue what he's teaching. That is exactly how people imagine self-defense whose only experience with self-defense is imagining it. He had never tested it out in real life. He has never had somebody just trying to choke him and then him trying to defend himself. Like that's just made up Hong Kong movie absolute nonsense, right? First of all, it's absolutely nonsensical to hit the biceps like that. And all of it makes zero sense. And all of that pain compliance bullshit is only good to defend yourself against your little sister or against some nun. But it's not going to work at all against a man who's aggressive, possibly on drugs or narcotics. This, that's just where it fails. And you can easily see that. Right? So it's... Now these kind of people, they teach other people, waste their money, waste their time probably endanger them because they think that that kind of technique will save their life when all it will do is tell the aggressor that you have no clue about how to fight back and give all the all the potential to the aggressor on how to decide what's going to happen right now now it's it's angering me that that kind of fraud self-defense training should have legal consequences for those people and there should be some kind of governing body about what kinds of techniques are to be allowed to teach and the other one should have some warning label like yeah you know you teach it but be aware man it's it's just bullshit it's just good for dancing you know like some things when you buy them it says on them oh it's not actually real money it's just prop money those martial arts schools should have a big like sign in front of them, not actual martial art, just for fun, just for kids, you know, like, no, man, grow up and learn some actual martial arts.